and they're off for the £100,000 Goffs UK Spring Sail Bumper. The running of the extended two miles, the first to begin, Crest of Glory on the inside with Summer Brees right up there. So too is Grain Trade, who's in the all-white silks, working towards the near side, Gentleman Jack, alongside Dartmoor Pirate. At the moment, the back marker in the early stages, Tor Ovali. Also towards the rear of the field is Menaggio. They're very tightly grouped through the first furlong and a half, and it is Grain Trade who just has the lead. So a second to go, Grain Trade with on the outside, Gentleman Jack. Those are the first two. And then Summer Brees working towards the inside with Crest of Glory as they go into the turn. Tedley is racing in a share of fifth with on the inside, Silent Auction and also Gentleman's Relish. Then around the outer is Dartmoor Pirate, followed by Joker de Tay, now in those light blue and green striped colours as they race away from the enclosures and towards the back straight. Then towards the inside is Girls in Skirts, who's racing just in advance of I'm a Lumberjack as they make the run down the back straight. One who's going quite wide is Tommy Gunn as they make the run now down the back straight and on towards the final mile and a half. So it is Crest of Glory on the inside who comes to now to share it with uh, Gentleman Jack and towards the outside races Grain Trade and those are still the first three. Followed by Gentleman's Relish and Summer Brees and then towards the inside is Silent Auction who's just been niggled along to try and hold a position. Tommy Gunn is still being taken very wide out on the course as they make their way midway down the back straight going on now towards the final mile. At the moment Norman Fletcher is racing just on the heels of the leading group, right in the centre of the pack as they go now through that next set of wings and that carries them on towards the final seven and a half furlong. So it is Crest of Glory on the inside with Summer Brees. The one who got a reminder was Grand Sabre, who has now dropped towards the tail of the field and now they race towards the end of the back straight and it is on the inside Crest of Glory who leads Menaggio and then on the outside is Grain Trade. The blue sleeves is Gentleman Jack as they now go towards that turn. Hunting them up next is Joker de Tay with on the inside Silent Auction, auction. then Summer Brees who's now losing her position and is being ridden along as now they make the turn on inside the final six furlongs. Crest of Glory has always been in the vanguard with Gentleman Jack and around the outside Grain Trade. These are still the first three. Followed then by Silent Auction who's on the inside. The Stripes and a Joker de Tay on the outside. Dartmoor Pirate is right there and Norman Fletcher totally tailed off now is Grand Sabre is out the back of the field. Gentleman's Relish is struggling very badly. He's also in the last three or four as they begin to make the turn now back towards home. Summer Brees has also dropped right away. The Black Colours Tour Ovali is staying on from a long, long way back. Uh, so too is pushed the button and they're racing now on down towards the final half mile. And it's Crest of Glory and Aidan Coleman who still have the lead over Gentleman Jack and Jonathan Burke in second. Towards the near side, it is Dartmoor Pirate who now shares the third Third position with Norman Fletcher and push the button is the grey who continues to stay on. Girls in skirts is staying on from a long way back. So too is Tour Ovali. The black colours towards the near side. Menaggio is now beginning to try and rally as well. They're then being followed by I'm a Lumberjack. Followed next by Silent Auction. The others at long intervals down inside the final quarter of a mile and Crest of Glory has just about led every step of the way so far and has split this field. He's now gone clear by the best part of eight lengths giving chase to Ovali racing alongside Gentleman Jack and then Norman Fletcher from a long way back I'm a Lumberjack is staying on but the winner has flown it's the Anthony Honeyball trained Aidan Coleman ridden Crest of Glory who is going to win the jackpot for the Goffs UK spring sail bumper Crest of Glory wins in a canter up for second I'm a Lumberjack followed home by girls in skirts, push the button, tour over Lee and Menaggio. What about that for a performance on debut from Crest of Glory in the very valuable Goffs bumper, Aidan Coleman, the winning rider. How did that feel, Aidan? Must have felt pretty good. Yeah, very straightforward. Um, I was sat in him in Kempton there a few weeks ago and Anthony was keen. I came down and did that gallop because he really liked him. And when Anthony usually likes when he does the business, um, in a race, to train a horse like that for a race like that was an exceptional training performance. You know, he's telling me about this horse in, in September. <laughs> yeah, literally. So uh, I had a sitting him in like October time, and then um, he's been filling me in the whole way through the, the winter. And uh, yeah, here we are. So 
fair training performance. Because you always felt like a pretty decent sort when you sat on it. I only sat on him literally twice. Very, very uncomplicated, very straightforward. Um, Sire kind of loves that kind of ground. And just a very easy, straightforward horse that's, uh, that's going places, obviously. And he's a proper galloper, isn't he? He just keeps going and going. I know that Anthony Honeyball said that a little bit earlier in the week on, on a podcast. Um, do you think possibly stepping up and trip next year might be the way to go? Oh, no doubt, yeah. He's going to be a horse for over further. To, to, to win a kind of staying bumper like that, you know, on that ground and a track like Newbury, um, um, it, you know, his, his career is, is going uh, up and trip, yeah. And he's put a hell of a lot of distance between himself and his rivals. We, we must be talking about a pretty smart horse here. You'd hope so. You'd hope so, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.